Testosterone is lauded as the ultimate man hormone, and as a result, it gets credited and blamed for a lot of things. Some are real and true, others are total myths and misconceptions. From thinking high testosterone causes male pattern baldness, to believing that just taking testosterone will improve our physical performance. Let's start right here at the top. Does high testosterone cause male pattern baldness? The reason it's thought high testosterone does this, and I used to think this myself, was because of dihydrotestosterone, more commonly known as DHT. It's made from testosterone by an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, and when DHT binds to the receptors on our hair follicles that are DHT sensitive, then those follicles start to shrink and their life cycle is shortened. This does make it sound like testosterone is the cause, but in reality, it is the sensitivity of those receptors on our hair follicles that is to blame. Normal receptors are not overly sensitive to DHT and don't cause hair loss. So what determines the sensitivity of these follicles? Well, it's something that blesses us and curses us right from the day we're born, and that is genetics. The next myth we need to explore is that suffering from low testosterone is inevitable as we age. One of the things we really need to separate is aging from failing health and illness due to inactivity and poor dietary choices. The two biggest ways we can improve our testosterone is to lose excess body fat and become more active. Now I've talked about this in a lot of other videos, so I'm not going to go into it too much here, but there are plenty of studies that have shown that no matter what our age, if we become more active and reduce our body fat levels, we'll increase our testosterone. Because of the perceived connection between testosterone and age, it is often thought that we can bring back our youthful vitality, libido, and erectile function by supplementing with testosterone. This is partially true. Higher testosterone tends to improve libido, which is the desire in our minds for sex. And it stimulates receptors in our brain that release nitric oxide, which is part of the process that's necessary for us to get an erection. Increasing testosterone alone, though, isn't the solution. Now I'll leave a link to a meta-analysis at the bottom of the description where they found that testosterone replacement therapy failed to improve erectile function in almost half of the cases studied and this was due to other health issues like diabetes, high blood pressure and cholesterol as well as a couple of bad habits including smoking and alcohol abuse. The majority of reasons testosterone didn't improve erectile function are preventable and a matter of improving our diet and exercise regime. The same things that will improve our own natural testosterone levels. One of the things that testosterone does, whether it's our own natural testosterone or we were to supplement with TRT, is that it helps us maintain our lean muscle mass and reduce body fat. As a matter of fact, TRT will increase lean muscle mass and strength without training. But there is something that surprised me when I reviewed the meta-analysis that I mentioned earlier. Most of these studies were done on men 60 years of age or older, and what they concluded after reviewing all these studies is that while muscle mass and strength did improve, physical function did not. I found this interesting as I would have thought that it would have improved. What physical function is, is it's the ability to perform basic tasks of daily living and was often tested by the six minute walk test and the get up and go test, which evaluates the subject's ability to get up out of a chair walk a short distance, and return to sitting. Of course, if these men exercised, not only would their strength have improved, but the function of their muscles would have too. So to get the most out of having testosterone replacement, they would have to train and eat right, just like the guys who've kept their testosterone levels high through diet and exercise all along. Watch this video next to find out how we can increase our testosterone in as little as 12 weeks and keep it high so that we can keep working out while having fun, this is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.